1969, a child was born with no directions, scarred and scorn, raised into a family of uncertainty, unbeknown to the little boy's purpose he once would be. But through it all, God was holding him up, molding his mind and hands with blueprints that would one day become a part of history, and here you stand. Although I don't have much to give but these words God gave to me silently, to enlighten your heart and put a smile on your face as you do for us all constantly. Tyler, I wish you much love, peace, happiness, and continuous blessings on your special day. You were born to be a God and star, so continue to shine. Sonya. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, but in 1998, after seven years of perseverance, seven years of not giving up, seven years of believing, seven years of praying, 1998, things turned around. And tears in my eyes, and I, I sat down, and I'm like, God, all these years of struggling, all of it, what was it all about? What that taught me very quickly is that anything that comes easily may not be as appreciated as much as the things that you work hard for, that you struggle for, that you pray for. There's been moments in my life where things have gotten so dark that I thought, God, are you hearing me? God, are you there? But there was never a moment where I thought there wasn't a God. My prayer is that I'm able to maintain in all of this, in all levels of this wonderful thing called success, but at the same time, be human enough to make mistakes and be flawed, but be strong enough that my mother would be proud. I thank God for my mother and my grandmother and my great-grandfather and my grandfather. They were all ministers in the church who, no matter how bad things got, they told me to always pray, always believe. And that's where my faith has come from. My mother, who didn't have some great legacy, she didn't have millions of dollars to leave me, but what she did was she taught me about God. It's all about trying to help somebody cross. Rather than being an icon, I want to be an inspiration. I want you to hear this. There are people whose lives are tied into your dream. Own your stuff. Own your business. Own your way. This is what happens when you dream, when you believe, when you have faith, when you pray, and when you work your ass off.